I'll better leave it. Since I might need to cut this down after I do the rest of the drawing. So I'll just start with the most annoying part. Okay. I'll keep this, I think. Not sure what for, but we'll see. What's this all about? It's gonna be uh, one of those uh, uh, curved thingies. I lent my curved panels the 360 or 180. Actually, it's 180. I'd say it's 180. To a friend of mine, and he's really pleased with it. It's funny because he was playing with uh, omnidirectional before I made the curved panels. And uh, he's fancying uh, those quite a lot. Now in my room it's too roomy if you ask me but he really likes it but they had like several flaws so I thought you know I'll redo them see where we uh, can go and it's a tweeter that goes really low which I usually <coughs> like instead of having the uh, two-way like the Depolito panel I mean that's nice but uh, I like if I can make it simpler like making it two-way that would be better I will be using neodymium rubber magnet downside of that is it's really expensive and still the efficiency is not near as efficient if you use neodymium like sintered but sintered neodymium does not bend it breaks so I think the rubber version is maybe the only way. Mine is four millimeter wide, three millimeter thick. I might order a sample five by three, but it costs. It will cost me again two hundred and fifty dollars or something. So I thought let's make a new version first with the existing magnet before I spend. $250 that for something that I might not use myself. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'll uh, draw up the... Uh, uh, I can show you my sketch. My sketch is rather... No one will probably understand what it is. So this is my sketch. The idea is that I disable this radio. So these are the magnets. 4 millimeter wide, 3 millimeter spacing, and I used 5 in the older version. I'm not sure how wide I made the whole membrane, but I'll redo them and see where it lands in how low you can go. Um, so there will be space without magnet here, which will be 4 millimeter as well. Then you got a foam bit that will sit against the foil slightly. Not very intense. Nine millimeter wide, and then I have the part of the wooden frame, uh, which is twelve millimeter thick wood. I use, and it will get a twelve millimeter wide foam ex adhesive tape variant. Because in the existing one, it is a sandwich of two foamy bits that will squish the membrane, and it it goes wrong many times. If you look at the video of the very long ribbon I did for Hang Alone, I had kind of the same issues with one panel is more efficient than the other. One panel will hit the magnets, the other panel does not. And all has to do with the foam bits squishing the membrane, but not equally. So it might be that the front foam will push harder than the back foam. And then the membrane will end up against the magnets or other way around. And then the efficiency is also different, lower. Yeah, so I decided a metal will be seated in the piece of wood, six millimeters. And then the total width of the metal should be 70. 
and I made it right now around 68 to have some spare wiggle room. So that's what I did right now. And now I'm gonna make a normal drawing of this, I think. And I'm not sure if I make it like a complete 360 or more like a something like this. I think if you do it like this, you might have a little bit more high end. With a 360, the top end is uh, scattered all over the room or something, I don't know. And then you have a slope that looks like this. And well, I would prefer it to be like this, but <laughs> uh, usually if you make this less of a curve, it would be more like a rising response. If it was flat, it was a rising response. So somewhere in between, I guess. Or maybe uh, that's a stupid idea, I don't know. If you want three real 360, then I should do this, but I'm not sure yet. And I want to make one that's gonna be sitting on top of a woofer. So it will be an up-firing woofer, then a few stands of metal, whatever, and then this tweeter on top of that. I think that could create a quite nice sort of point source thingy but yeah we'll see and then again if I listen to it in in my room I probably say well it's too too you know spacious I don't know and well apparently Sander for instance really liked the tweeter so there must be something to it it might just not be my taste or it might not be very nice in my room <laughs> or both, who knows.